Hi. Tech Row here. Yeah. You know, a lot of us spending a little bit more time at home than one would like to nowadays. Um, working and stuff. So anyway, what I was thinking of doing is to a little bit um, improve the um, working environment that I have at home. And um, one of those critical issues is how pure air you have available um, to breathe. And um, one of the ways to improve the air quality is to um, install a air air cleaner. And um, so I picked up one of these devices. And um, we have the pollen season on full go right here in, in our region, so it hopefully help with that also. Uh, usually when you're in the office you actually have um, you know, quite a big filtering system. So look after that. So anyway, let's see if we can. So this is a Coway um, device. Um, it's won quite a few tests. Um, and that was based because I, I don't know very much about these kind of units, so I bought it based on that. And, uh, but it's not cheap. And I don't think the one should um, buy the most expensive one, but don't buy the cheapest one either. Because probably the cheapest ones, the filters aren't worth, worth much. And plus this was one critical point when you're buying this kind of a unit, that um, make sure that the filter packs are easily available. There's many devices, even more expensive ones than this were, you actually, it's not that easy to source the um, replacement filters. So I, I also made uh, check that the vendor that I bought this from actually has replacement filter packs. So access the filters and then it has three different filters of varying um, 
density. Well, okay, so it's just just magnets. So that's not. Slide in there. Click. Oh, that's cool. instructions for you know like this and basically it's simplistically speaking it's a it's um yeah it's a fan and at least it comes with something Yeah, and then there's different types of filters you can get in different types of units. So this one comes with a so-called medium filter. There is one more level on top of this for filtering, but that's more like for gaseous content. So I thought that was in in our specific use case that was getting a bit too a bit too maybe overkill. Three molds and then a power saving mold. Opening here should um, light up and it should um, give you a color indication how how um, clean or unclean your air is. So let's plug it in and see what happens. <laughs> it's hard to say what, what does the blue mean. I wonder if it actually says. Let's see what it says about the um, color code. You can clean the filters with a with a vacuum cleaner, which is actually quite nice. You don't have to throw the filters away when they when they get dirty. You can actually self-clean. Oh, it's already working. As the fan is automatically turned on and off, according to the pollution level of the surrounding area, it helps to... Well, okay. So it's... It's actually sensing uh, what the air quality is. I'm um, reacting to that. So it's got an auto mode, a mood mode, a speed. So you can self-regulate the speed. Or you can put it into silent mode. That's the basic setting. Now I won't break. So now it's in auto and mood. Um, let's see if I can. Okay. 
keeping it now until... Okay, then the mood is that you can turn this light on and off. Or if you get this light. That's why I don't have it in this. At least I didn't find it easy in the instruction. So here, you actually have the um, the light coating for the pollution. So it's actually saying light pollution in this area. It's very quiet. I can't really hear it in the silent mode. Air purification process. Okay, so that's the air pollution. So pre-filter, media filter, and HEPA filter. And then the more expensive units have you want more, it's a little higher than that. Reads instructions. <laughs> but that's strange. The instruction says that the filter should be in a bag. Let's see. In a bag. is important and actually does say what is prompt. 
I was actually suddenly realizing I didn't check which way. Which way around? I took it out. Just this one and this one didn't come in any bag. It doesn't seem to matter which way around. Oh, it does. It actually has this. So now it's more connected up to use. I think I can do is I can make a follow-up video of this. The first we put it together, we put it into operation, and then when I clean it, then I can, maybe I can make a follow-up video. Leave some comments if you think that will be of interest. You see the cleaning process. And then here's the particle sen sensor with the um, filter change reset. And then you're supposed to clean the sensors. As I said, I can take an, uh, another video, actually put this into heavy use, and then um, and then um, come back with a with a video on um, the actual cleaning process. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it where it's supposed to stand. It's not supposed to stand here, and. Um, um, we will uh, see how it works. Yeah, now I can hear the better airflow now. <laughs> it's like, now the filter backs off. <laughs> Okay, that was the um, 
bulbs in the koi air purifier and um, I'm just going to put it into use and then uh, as I said I'll probably come back with a video on cleaning it. Uh, if you like this video uh, consider subscribing. And I mean since there's so many people working from home, I recommend I mean, share this video with other people who might be interested in getting an air purifier in their home. So so many working working at home. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.